What's up guys, I'm Zane Man here, welcome back to another video, and today I'm doing a discussion about Installation 01, and I'm joined by ReachMac. Hey. So, Installation 01, for those who don't know, is a fan-based game about uh, remaking basically Halo 3, is it? Pretty much. And then Go obviously incorporating the other ones as well. Mm. Going for the classic Halo feel. Yeah, classic Halo sort of thing, but also I think custom games are going to have some other stuff, like you can add other stuff in as well in custom games. So... First thing on sort of notes thing is the current status of the game. So as you can probably see in the background, it looks playable. This yeah, they definitely got. Yeah, we've got the multiplayer working. It seems you can definitely, you can see people playing together, and it works. It's, you know, it's a few. It's a bit rough around the edges. The occasional animation's not bang on, and not all the textures are perfect. But it's definitely in a playable state. Yeah. So currently, the game is not available for anyone to download. Although, if you, I'll probably have some sort of annotation or something in the video when it is available. And you can check on the Installation 01 website, which will be linked in the description below. But at least in my opinion, they should have it open. It should be like an open beta. It looks polished enough that it's it should be released. Run, but They run the risk if they, don't, if they leave it forever and you know just you know, keep saying, oh, we're going to wait till it's perfect. People are going to get tired of waiting there are other halo games out there there are the hmm. proper halo games out there's there. also project contingency which is a similar idea but being made in a different engine and by different yeah. people and so, you know, so at the moment the website's got about twenty thousand subscribers and now i'm sure that's not everyone who's interested in the project but it's not a massive fan base and so if they do wait too long i think people are gonna drift away a bit yeah, and so this is made in the Unity engine, which is an amazing engine for making games with. A load of good games are made in there. And so the comp the main competitive project contingency, which is the only actual one I know about, which is competing really. I, I'm sure yeah. there are others, but There's they're us, using yeah. the Unreal engine, which is well, Very there's some debate about which one's better. There's not. It provides a very different art style. Well, the Unreal Engine has a lot more sort of built-in graphical improvements, whereas Unity overall is a more open engine for you to sort of do whatever you want with, in my opinion, at least. After I've, I've played with both engines, to it at some extent. Mm -hmm. So, hopefully, soon they'll release some sort of playable version. Yeah, they, they certainly have some it. version, but if it's not within the next few months, I think. Mm. It's a it's a tricky one. Yeah, well, the most recent... Um... As soon as they release a copy, it's going to explode. Loads of more people are going to get involved in it. Yeah. And the project will just gain more and more traction. And until then, it's just not... Um, it's just not there. Yeah, so we talked a bit about Unity and what the advantages is, so that takes us sort of into the first point of what kind of system requirements you're going to need to play this kind of game. Well, they are looking very specifically at making this for everyone. They've already said yeah. that Mac it can run on Mac, Linux, and PC. And which is the advantages of Unity. It, run, yeah. it runs all them. And it also would work on Xbox or PlayStation if they wanted to release on them as well. Yeah, I'm not sure one. how legally they are allowed to and stuff, but Mission they can that. theoretically do it. Yeah. Um, but the thing is, they're going for low system requirements. So it's not... The graphics, as you can see in the video, right. Semi-recent nice. hardware, at least. But not... But yeah, but you're not going to need a ridiculous computer to buy it. You know, most laptop, most you know store-bought computers will run it. Probably most laptops will run it. As long as you know some computers, you might have to turn the settings down a bit. But you know, yeah. you just mentioned buy is going to be completely free. They're not allowed to make money on it due to the Microsoft um, copyright system. So yeah. it will be completely free. So don't worry about having to splash out thirty quid for something for the latest game. <laughs> thirty quid. I think you mean about sixty at that at this point. It's an indie game. They're normally yeah. a bit lower. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, the best advice they officially give on Installation 01 website, and I will give as well, is find some other games that run using Unity, test them out, and just see how well they run on your PC if you're interested, because that will give you a rough idea of how well this will run. It's going to be roughly that same. Yeah. Uh, the next main point I'd like to bring up is controller support. Now, they definitely talked about this a lot. Yeah, but... it's been talked about, and they said they definitely want to have it in there. But they're foremost making this for PC. It's got to work primarily for a mouse and keyboard user. But and 
at least with GTA 5, which is something I play quite a lot, is aim assist. That that's come up a lot in the Discord chat. Which, yeah. Uh, which when you're using it. a controller with PC, well, with uh, even on the well Halo Reach, which we play a lot on the Xbox together, that has a bit, bit of aim assist that will like follow the uh, character around a little bit. It's just because it's very hard to do it with the joysticks. Yeah, it's, it's very hard to be accurate. Almost, it, so I'd imagine almost all games have it, and it's just you know just to make it, and it's balanced because everyone gets it. But when it comes... That's assuming everyone has a controller, which where you get onto PC is the issue of not everyone has a controller. Some people are using keyboard and mouse, some will use a controller, mouse some will use different controllers and whatnot. Mouse and keyboard don't have that because you're, you can, they're good enough that you can aim properly using a keyboard. Yeah, well, depending on what mouse you have and DPI and stuff, it but does, we're not going to get into that. But. So pe- different people are complaining, you know, you know, are bringing up the different opinions about it, and I don't think they've conclusively said which one they're going to go for yet. Well, they've said officially they are undecided on aim assist, as it may be required to balance the play between mouse and controller usage, but they just have to make it balanced enough that it's not going to overpower the controller users over the PC keyboard it would and mouse have to users. Te- it would just have to be a testing thing. Which is where one thing like a beta program that they should be releasing hopefully soon would give yeah. people a chance to help them and say, oh, the control aim is just a bit too good or not good enough to match it. Yeah. Obviously, don't, they don't just want to take into account one person's opinion of it's rubbish, up, up the aim assist, up the aim assist, and then they just have an insane aim assist. Uh, they need to take it from a joint community of people working together to sort of test that. Because yeah. I don't think their current team of, how many people they have? Like, they got 10 30, maybe? Is it 30? I think they've got, they got 30 people, but a lot of them are just doing little bits. And and I don't know how many of them actually have a copy of the game with a controller and we're ready to test all that. I know, and, yeah. I'm sure they are. And all of the, they're all doing it for free, you know, donating their own time to it. So we can see why it's taken so long, but we can also see now that... I think It looks polished enough and, well, working enough, at least, to be able to be a beta version released. If they get a thing released, more people will get involved, and you never know, they might get more people donating their services. Yeah. I mean, I've thought about it, but personally I'm not experienced in the Photon engine, which is what they're using to do multiplayer. So I might see about learning that, I don't know. Might get involved if I can. I've just been looking at the uh, footage we're watching now, and it's got the full set of four grenades. Yeah, they've got lots of grenades options. They've got the full, you know, your standard frag plasma. But in Reach, and I think in 4 and 5, Spike grenades, which are similar to Plasma, but not they don't bounce at all. Yeah. And you've got the Incendiary grenades, which are quite nice for like blocking entrances and stuff. Yeah, I like the Incendiary, they're good. Yeah, they burn for a bit. So going back to what you said about the original sort of style of Halo 3 and Combat Evolved and sort of Halo 2. Because the basic idea is they've gone from... Halo Combat Evolved originally was available on PC, and so was Halo 2. And so, obviously, Halo 3 seems like the next logical step. That's in their words. They said that. So they're also looking. So people have asked about the armor abilities that are available in Halo Reach and onwards. And so it looks like they're thinking they're not. There's a lot of things you've got to question with Reach, though. I always question this with Reach because Reach in the line of games comes before Halo Combat Evolved. It it struggles a little bit with the canon of it. Yeah, so you have things like armor abilities, which you lose in the next few games and then you get again. again. And things like the rocket launcher homing, I don't think that's in... And sprint. Yeah, things like sprinting. That kind of thing isn't included and sort of explained at all. I know, but you've got to take some artistic license, otherwise you'd never be able to add like new features into the game. Yeah, the sort of argument is that they left the stuff on reach because they lost reach as a planet, but... Uh, yeah. like you think DMR. they still have some information about yeah, it? Yeah, it's like the weapon, the DMR in Halo Two. In Halo Reach, is the first time you see a DMR. You don't see a DMR again until uh, Halo Four. Yeah. But so we know we got it. They got it off there. But it, I can. I'd just let them have it because you know. But so that's one of the main I questions about Installation yeah. One. Will they have things like arm abilities, which are seen in Reach and newer? And what well, do you want to answer this a bit? Yeah, and they definitely said. Um, they're gonna. They're probably gonna put them in, but they're probably not going to be in multiplayer. And we're talking more like the Reach style armor abilities here. They'll. They've talked a lot about custom games, and they're gonna have load of tools fully made so you can make your own server and you can set the settings to however you want. You can have the full Halo Five set of armor abilities. You know, the Sprint, Dash, Spartan Charge, whatever it is. I haven't played Halo Five. Yeah. Um, 
but in, here, in the main multiplayer that they're hosting, it's probably just not going to happen. Or if they do, it's going to be Halo 3 style. You know, you pick it up, it's a one-use thing, you tap X to use it. Yeah, well, they've claimed the official servers... That, not that they're running any servers, but the official that. server software they're handing out. They did actually mention it in one of the FAQs, I think. So if you want to scroll and have a look at that, we'll like to talk about this. I think it's in the main FAQ like blog post. Yes. So they said they're going to have something similar to a Combat Evolved system, but most of the things are going to be able to be added in custom games if you want to add them, but not going to be there by default. So if you want to add them to your own server, you have to sort of mod them in, or there'll be a setting to enable them on there. Um, we sort of touched on this before, but the art style is going to be sort of Halo 3, back to the sort of roots of Halo games before they had... I think Halo 5, a lot of people didn't like the art style. That was it taken did. into the new Halo Wars as well, which people didn't like because they just copied the yeah. assets over. It's, it's, the, it's the 343 thing, isn't it? They, they've taken it in a very different direction to Bungie. But I think Halo 6 is rumoured to be going back more to the older art style again. Yeah, it's just because Halo 5 has not been doing well, and Microsoft want to make a lot of money out of these uh, games, and so they've got to do what people want, which is good. That's what they should be doing. That's another reason why they're making Insatiation 01, because 343 is not taking Halo in the way the community wants it to be, and how they liked it playing. They've changed it too much in some people's opinion. I'm sure some people like the art style, and there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, but I'm not saying majority, that. It, it seems a majority of people for the classic art style. Yeah, and that's what... Well, that's basically what got people hooked into Halo, and why people like Halo, that art style, and then suddenly you change it, it's just not the same game anymore. No, it could be... Other than, you know, they put a few characters in, but it could basically be a generic shooter. Yeah. So, going back to... Will they be running servers? I'm not sure. Did so, I found here that they said they're going to have a headless server mode, which basically sounds like when you load up the game, join a game, a person, a player, will be running the server on their computer probably selected based off ping and then it will just get switched around as and when um, as and when people join the game I don't know if, uh, you know it's, it's like the Civilization 5 kind of multiplayer uh, mode. let's see if I can find it quickly because I think what you're saying is slightly different to what I believed it was ah let me just, let me just find it again where is it uh, network code uh, mass acceleration Oh, that's die, where is it? Um, do, 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 servers, 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 where is it? Where is it? It's just control S servers. Control F servers. There we go. So, at least from what I took, it's going to be like a Minecraft server. So someone will host the server and then people will just connect to it. Uh, yeah, that's, that's what it sounds like for uh, the custom servers, but I'm not sure for the main multiplayer. It might be this headless method. Well, they but said it should be pretty easy for anyone to set up dedicated servers. Yeah, so we... And dedicated servers are something that you say would buy from MC server host or whatever. Mm. But obviously for Station no one instead of MC. Yeah. But the so point that's... is, despite mm. this very extensive list of questions that have been asked, and they have answered, there is still very little known about the game we've got. Basically no gameplay. Um, you know, Class C Ham's released some, he's got a copy of the game. Um, but a lot of the gameplay is very similar. They've only shown two maps. Mm, what, and only one of them's been shown for the second one's only been shown for about two minutes, and it has untextured and everything. Yeah. So we really know very little about the game. These questions haven't really answered very much. They've probably just generated more questions than they've answered. Yeah. Well, I guess it's an interesting thing because they're trying to build the hype by making you think about these sort of things and obviously making people like us make this kind of video. But that's talk also about this sort of thing. Again, it's having the opposite effect that we talked about at the start. Yeah, there's that also effect of they wait too long and people just lose interest. Mm. Um, one of the next main points I've got is about gore and sort of blood. Oh, yeah. Now, I picked this up, especially because in the quote they say, energy swords cut off limbs, which I think sounds amazing. It does. I've never seen that before. The idea of just running up with someone and say infection and just cutting off someone's arm and then you just sort of just I sounds know, like I a cool know, idea. I think I know why this is. Because it's an indie game, there's not going to be getting an age rating, almost definitely. And all of the like proper Halo games have all been rated 16. Yeah. And there is a definitive reason for that. Microsoft want to sell this to as many people as possible while still not 
it's a shooter, so there's a limit to how far they can go with it. But it's not. I've seen a lot of PC games as well these days, and even some Xbox games as well with Assassin's Creed. Is a toggle where you can turn blood on and off. Yeah, there's been those things. There's a lot. Of, I think we've seen a lot in Call of Duty. Yeah, well, I've got it with Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. I think it is. It's an 18, but I bought it and then turned blood off, and effectively it's a 16 then. Mm, yeah. So they might have something similar with Installation 01. I don't know if they're going to have a toggle. I don't know, but it's not really. But then they go. They said they're going for classic Halo, and I can imagine it maybe being a custom server option, maybe. Yeah, because that's not classic Halo, is it? No, but it's sort of, Well, whether it actually cuts off a limb and then that person can't use their right arm for the rest of the game, uh, or whether it will be just the animation is cutting off limbs and stuff to make it look cool. Yes. It could just oh, be okay. an animation sense. Mm, yeah. Uh, one of the main things as well is dual wielding, which wasn't available in Reach, but was in pretty much every other Halo game. Um... Yeah, I don't think it was in 4. Uh, yeah, oh, it is. It is in 4, isn't it? Uh, no. No, it wasn't in 4, was it? No, it wasn't, yeah. It wasn't. I, don't think I don't think it's in 5, either. Yeah, I haven't played 5 because I haven't got an Xbox One, but... but so yeah, they so said they're going to have dual wielding in Installation 01, which is going to be good. Because that brings back Halo 3 style again. Yeah, and I claim they're almost going to be balanced as well. Yeah, they, they, they promised that. There'll be the same limits on, um, you know, what you can dual wield. You're not going around with two rocket launchers. Oh, that's Quite a shame, happy. though. But you never know in custom games. Because it's you never like know. I'm not sure how much... Cu- Personally, I'm not sure about custom games, because Unity as an engine isn't hasn't got the same modding prowess as, say, Minecraft. Because Minecraft, you can just mod almost anything into the game... I'm not sure how much they talk about modding. I think they've just said that we, we're making all of these settings and you can choose what to do with it. But in terms of settings, they're not not—they're probably not going to have individual settings that say you can dual wield these two weapons together or this weapon and this weapon. They're mm. probably not, I don't think they're going to go deep enough to have every single weapon have toggles. But whether certain that would be available if you custom sort of modded a server version out yourself, I don't yeah. know. Yeah. It, it might be like a file, you know, just saying dual wield available equal false or equal true and you're sorted well, I can imagine so, in a way some sort of custom server software being made well it seems like they've got the photon stuff to do that so maybe that's something to do with it but whether no, I mean that like community base so say like you've got with Minecraft you've got Spigot and Bucket mm. which allow people to make things like the Hunger Games and Spleef and whatnot in high pixel servers maybe something similar could be made for Installation 01 using the photon engine it's definitely possible because all the server, if you think about a server, all it does is just send messages from client to client telling them what's going on with everything else. So, it is very possible they might do something with that, and the community might make something, or even they might officially make something like that, I don't know. Yeah. We'll see what their plans are. Something I found a bit weird, I was watching the multiplayer Q&A, is Steam. Mm. So, someone made the question in the multiplayer Q&A about, will the game be on Steam? And they brought in Bean, who's the main web developer and does some other stuff in the installation one as well. And they started talking about how good the website was and well, how you can customise your Spartan coming soon, apparently. I've yet to see that, and this, this video was when? About a oh, month ago now? Now, what I'm trying to remember is Microsoft have said that all Halo games shall be coming to PC now. Is that through Steam... Or through um, Windows Store, because I know they released the definitive edition of Halo Wars, the original, on Steam, as it came out. Hmm. But the With- Halo Wars 2 is only available on the um, thing, the Microsoft Store. So I'm wondering, will it, because I don't know if it affects it either way, because they're going to get, you know, well, they won't get as much money from um, Steam, but Steam's a much more popular service. Well, the main thing they, the main reason they did Halo Two, um, Halo Wars Two that way, was because they wanted it to be uh, Windows Ten only. Yeah. Which is that sort of push for Windows Ten. Although Windows Eight had the store as well. So but with the store, they do have that sort of control to say you have to have this OS. With Steam, that's not an option when you upload a game. To say it has to be this version of the OS, you can say only available for Windows. But you can't say it has to be Windows 10 on Steam. Mm. 
Now, you could code it into with the launcher or with the actual game that says, a bit of code that says, if the version of the OS isn't this, fail but then it. To, but they'd have to put that, that annoy people. Especially if they've paid a lot of money for it. Yeah, so... Microsoft are going to probably keep using this, their own store, just because they want to have that bottled to their system. But Institution yeah. 01 hasn't said anything officially about Steam. But they seem to avoid the question. I'd imagine because it's a fan game, they would probably struggle a bit to get it on Steam because I just don't see Microsoft being too happy with that. See, I don't think Microsoft would be a problem because they're not making money off it, which is the main re main restriction Microsoft put on them. No, yeah, no. How they distribute be. it is sort of up to them. But hmm. looking into, well, until fairly, I say fairly recently, it could feel like we've been on Steam fairly easy with the Greenlight system. Because Steam yeah. has Steam Greenlight where the community just voted on the game and I think with 20,000 people interested, I'm sure at least half of them probably, maybe 15,000 of them probably would vote for it on Steam Greenlight if they announced it was on Greenlight. And that, that would easily get it, that would easily get it through to be on Steam. Oh, there we go then. But more recently, Steam has said they're ditching Greenlight and they're moving to a new system which as far as I know has yet to been released and announced but Greenlight has sort of been discontinued in the meantime. Oh, so how do you get new games on Steam at the moment then? Uh, I believe if you've already got a Greenlight license you can do that. Alright. However, I'm not sure entirely... I'd have to check the details but basically they're discontinuing Greenlight and putting a new system in place. Which right. they've had ideas, things like it will be removing or well, they'll have a higher cost to put a game on. Oh. But you'll get but you can get that money back fairly easily or something. There's some sort of return way of getting the money back or something. Oh, okay. I haven't read much into it, but so as far as we know, Insulation No One's not gonna be on Steam, but they've kept tight lipped about this question, which is why I thought I'd bring it up here for the discussion. Yeah, if they they if they weren't gonna do it, they probably would have said no outright. Because they were asked it. Quite but they went on a very they went on a weird tangent, which I found was interesting. And yeah, it sparked my interest because the website looks nice. Don't get me wrong; it's, it's a great website. It looks amazing. Mm. I love the idea of looking at the three D version of your character, and I can't wait for them to be able to edit the characters. They have talked about that. Another. They said it was coming soon. But they got soon. Was the thing is, they got soon on literally every single page. There is pretty much nothing. Yeah, I'd have to double check the video, but I'm pretty sure Beans said something about within a month or two for mm. that to come out. So, let's see what happens there. The next thing we've got on the list is the account system, and if you've been on the website, you've probably seen that you can sign up with Google. So it's your Google account, so Installation01 themselves aren't storing any personal data. It's all done through Google, and well, while not everyone likes it, we can probably trust Google Mostly. Well, if you just sign up for Google just to make a notification on one account, don't use any other services. I mean, that's no more information Google's gaining about you, really. No, other than you play installation on one. A deeply personal fact. But... Yeah. Anyway, so this also ties into the thing with cheating. Um, one big issue with this is the fact that if you cheat, if you, if you if you're cheating, you'll get you're getting banned. But it's not hard to go and make a new Google account. Again, you don't have to pay for it. Yeah, so that's the main things I've had. So the accounts are Google based, which is good because security issues on their website and stuff. They don't have to worry about that. However, well, they have also said about servers will have they'll have some sort of anti-cheat method in there as best yeah. they can, and there'll be some sort of set of moderation tools for server hosters. So you might be able to whitelist, so if you want to make a friends only ded dedicated server. You might be able to do ban IP. Yeah, maybe. But in terms of the account based thing, as you said, oh. it's not hard to make a new Google account, it's free. Oh, okay. So Google accounts are easy to make multiples of. I have I have uh, at least five, I deleted a couple of them because I didn't need them anymore, but I have I have at least four. Yeah, you don't need to. You don't need an email address or anything, which is some things that stop people making new accounts. Sometimes is different email addresses, and they have to sign up for new email services. But Google makes an email address for you. But I think Google's probably the best system they can go for. 
Rather than something like Facebook or Twitter. Or oh, I hate stuff. Up. More people have Google accounts, I think. Than, uh, that being said, Facebook just got 2 billion users, so... But how many of them are active users? There we go. I, mean, I technically have Facebook. The only thing I really use it for is for messaging. Messaging, just because it's easy. I have an account, I haven't used it in 6 years. Yeah. So it's how popular things actually are and things like that. So that's basically the list of my sort of quickfire stuff. Yeah, so we've got basically the release of weekly update. And um, I know that a lot of them are busy at the moment with university stuff. It's uh, final of the year, third year, and we've got exams. But this week's up update basically told us nothing other than the fact that this is how theatre mode works. But even then, not much detail on that. No, but I found that quite interesting to sort of look, read out because I'm interested in that kind of thing. So there'll be so it's quite interesting that instead of having recording, it's not actually recording anything, which would be a way you could do it. Basically, just record it and it will save it locally, and then you, it save it for a day or two. It doesn't yeah. do that. It instead saves the position of every single item individually, and then that runs every that runs thirty times a second, so it's effectively thirty fps. And it's interpolated. And then when you actually play it back, it interpolates that. So basically that means it guesses on the position. And has a rough look at the trajectory. So it will run smoother even though it's recorded at 30 FPS. The reason they're doing... As, you could actually watch it back in 30 FPS and that would be fine, but... Yeah. The reason they're doing that, like, so they said you can have adjustable cameras. People might be able to make their own little movies with it as well. Yeah. So if they just had a recording on your local PC, basically, of it, it would be only recording your view or maybe a slightly backed off view of you it wouldn't record everything going on in the map whereas this method would so you could almost free cam and just fly over and look at what your friend was doing that time when he supposedly killed you across the map or whatever <laughs> with a headshot on the magnum oh anyway. yeah <laughs> the headshot magnum so I like the idea of the advanced features and tools like custom camera positions and stuff like that but I, I feel like Really, while it's nice, I would rather them be working on the actual gameplay and maybe leave this as like a uh, update for a bit later. Yeah, that's something we also <laughs> actually managed to skip over actually in my notes about Steam. They've said they're going to have a custom launcher to download updates from. Yeah, so you'll only have to download something like yourself once. So there'll be an initial download of whatever it is, maybe three or four meg for the launcher. And then that would download the game, and you can actually play the game from there. And then it will also do updates, so they can... Actually, I don't know how well the, if the launch is made yet. That might be a thing they're waiting on. No, I'm sure they said it was made. Did they? I'm sure he said it was made, yeah, in the Q&A. Okay, I didn't hear anything about it being made. I heard they were making it. Oh, it was in progress, but okay. So that's going to be how they're going to distribute, in, uh, distribute updates. And, um, yeah. So I think we're going to go through some of the images and stuff, if you want. That's on the yeah. media page. So I mean, I've been looking at the environment art styles. It looks very nice. Yeah, they're all very well. But we've seen none of the maps shown on, on their website. They've got eight concept arts. I think we've seen one of them, maybe two, in you know actual game maps. So it looks like they're going to have it. You know, they got plans at least for a few more. I'm liking some of these urban environments. They're looking nice. Yeah, I like the pelican one as well. That's nice. Yeah, that is nice. Overgrown. But they have said about the concept art really helps them make the maps. Yeah. That was mentioned in the Q and A. Someone asked like how much did that actually make a difference, and apparently it does make quite a bit of difference. And if you look in the sec in the next section, the guns, the quality of some of these designs, um, the carbines, you know, specifically looks. I like the energy sword. But that looks nice. Yeah, and, and they've zoomed in hilt kind of concept out of the hilt. Yeah, but the thing is, they've also got some weapons in here that we've never seen before. We don't know if you look near the bottom, center column, there's a gun that we don't know anything about. It's Next to the assault rifle, it's got a safety switch. Yeah, so <laughs> it seems it's, it's got a similar design concept to the assault rifle. You know, it's got a. Uh, Ammo loader at the back, near to the you know the the shoulder rest similar to an SA80 rifle in real life. Um, maybe this was an early attempt at an SMG, but if we scroll further up, you can see a you know a classic SMG style design there. 
Yes, it might have been a placeholder, we don't know. Could have been. I like the shotgun, it's got like a chrome barrel. It's nice. Yeah, so I was actually talking to someone the other day because I was trying to download this image and it wouldn't load. So mm. I went on Discord and asked if someone could send it to me and they did. And there was a bit of discussion about they don't like the rounded end on the barrel. Ooh. But that's how the art, that's the art style of the Halo they're trying to replicate. So. Yeah, I gotta say it doesn't look... Yeah, I can see what they mean. Yeah, but that's how Halo is. That's the art style they're trying to make and I approve of that. That's sticking with what they yeah. think is correct. That's what they're going for. So the vehicle section, we're seeing some, we've got one actual proper model of a Scorpion. It's got, you know, textured and a few angles. Looks quite nice, very well done. Uh, we've seen a ghost concept art. And a new vehicle, which we haven't seen before. It's an eight-wheeled, it looks like a personnel character. That we, we get an inside yeah. shot and it's got about eight seats, but it's also got a gun on top. So hopefully this means we're going to be seeing some larger maps where it's going to be useful to move people across the map. Why bother texturing the inside if no one's going to get in it? Unless it's going to be used as sort of like almost a drop pod type thing. Yeah, I guess it could be. Obviously not dropping it, but it sort of drives in and then everyone just gets out and that's how you start the match, maybe? Yeah, yeah, I've seen, uh, definitely in like Halo 5, in Halo 5 they had a Pelican deployment, didn't they? Yeah, so that could be a cool idea, maybe. I don't know what they're planning with that. And some the, of the turret arm... pictures look nice as well, I like the turrets. In the armour section, the only thing we're seeing is um, the recon, which looks um, pretty good. Yeah, they, they've, they've done a lot with some of these models. These are actual models as well. Well, that one isn't, but... Yeah, they've got two concepts and some actual texture and a recon helmet does look like The only thing that a bit annoys me is the only way to get recon, it seems, is to do all these, these like, this quest thing they've got called Road to Recon. I think some of them seem a little bit stupid, and for some of the more serious players who might find it quite annoying that they have to do these... What the question don't... is, how real is that, though? Whether this is just something they yeah. sort of stuck on for a bit of so fun? It's like, yeah. So, so the achievement you have to get the achievement. You have to unlock all seven Bean Master achievements. Okay, discover all of Installation No One Skulls. The next one's a secret. Uh, create an original Bean meme. Uh, get get a kill in standard while teabagging. Uh, win at least three standard games on every map. This will only get harder as more maps are added. Uh, Woe reach level twenty five, and then get a total. Get 117 total kills in standard on the seventh day of the month in any time. So these do seem basically impossible. But whether they're just something that just to almost troll people. Fun. Okay, so just going to finish off because reach Mac to go. Looking at these sort of other screenshots and stuff, just some old builds and I mean you can see just from this picture. I mean there's a couple of glitch by the looks of it. I don't know whether that was that looks intentional in my opinion anyway. Those sort of fakes of AI people there but I think that could work quite well as a it looks like a functional build still apart from those people um, there's sort of a breakdancing Spartan just for a bit of fun and they've got a nice little screenshot which we're going to end off with of the Spartans all lined up and just you know a nice little background wallpaper almost that you can look at and picture um, so we're going to basically call it there there's also actually one other thing I want to point out and say if my image is going to load doo -doo -doo -doo. there's a grunt picture which um, is quite nice actually it's an actual picture of a grunt model that they've got which looks really nice I really like the grunt it's it's a very detailed model it looks nice and yeah we're just going to end off with this last lovely picture of the Spartans all lined up I'm anti man man uh, you heard reach back there and I'm Anthony Mammon. Hope you guys enjoyed the little discussion. If you want to say anything or make your own posts or anything you want me to talk about again, because I want to do more of this kind of video. If you want to do anything like that, uh, post in the description below. Not description, post in the comments below. And all links will be available in the description for the page we talked about and any references that we can access. I'm Anthony Mammon. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.